on behalf of 24HourAnswers.com, I welcome you to today's lesson. In this video, we're going to find the critical values of a function that has an exponential in it. And as you can see here, g of x does have an exponential piece right here. To find a critical value, we need to find the derivative and set it equal to zero, then we solve for x. And I'm going to rewrite g of x just by simply pulling that one half out in front of that x there. Uh, so when we go to find the derivative, we can see that actually the chain rule here is not going to be too bad. Now to find g prime of x, we will have to use the product rule because we have x, that's a function, times this e to this power, that's our other function. So product rule. Let's take the derivative of this. The derivative of x is 1, and we leave this other function alone for right now. So we have e to the 2 minus 1 half x. Now continuing the product rule, plus, now we take the derivative of this piece, and we leave this other function alone. This is the product rule for differentiation. The derivative of e to this stuff is going to be e to that stuff. But then we have to come back and apply the chain rule and multiply by the derivative of this exponent here. The derivative of 2 minus 1 half x is simply negative 1 half. But also remember to come back and leave this function here, that x, alone. This is the product rule. So let's review this one more time. We took the derivative of this, we got 1, and we left this part alone. Plus... Then we took the derivative of this function here, which is all of this, and applying the chain rule, and we left this function alone right there. So after applying the product rule, let's clean this up. Uh, 1 times this stuff is going to be that stuff. And then cleaning this up here, we have minus 1 half x e to that stuff. From here, we want to set the derivative equal to 0, and we want to solve this equation. So if you look, we have this term and this term here. They do have a common factor. That common factor is e to that stuff. So I'm going to factor that out of each one of these terms here. If we factor e to this stuff out of this, all we have is an understood 1 left over. When we factor e to that stuff out of this piece, we have minus 1 half x. And you can check your work here by distributing back. If we take this and multiply it by 1, we do get that piece back there. Taking this stuff times this piece here, we get this piece back right here. Now that we've factored, we can set each factor equal to zero. So e to this stuff equals zero. Well, that's impossible. e to this power, it can never be equal to zero. To show you that further, if you did want to try to solve this, if we take the natural log of both sides, because that's one of the common things you do to solve exponential equations, the natural log of zero is undefined. You can verify this in any calculator that has the natural log function on it. Natural log of zero, we get domain error. So therefore, it's impossible for e to this stuff to be equal to zero. Let's take this other factor, one minus one half x, and let's set it equal to zero as well. So therefore we have negative one half x is equal to negative one. I just subtracted one from both sides. And let's multiply both sides by negative two. That's gonna get rid of this negative one half. So negative 2 times a negative 1 half is a positive 1, so therefore we have x equals a positive 2. This is our critical value. When x is 2, this original function, g of x, is going to have a derivative that's equal to 0, which implies we have a horizontal tangent line. Do we have a maximum? Do we have a minimum? Do we have an inflection point? Who knows? That's what we're going to test out in a future video. But to motivate that idea for the future video, I do want to show you this function. And notice when x is equal to 2, it turns out we actually have a maximum. But what I want you to understand here is that when x is 2, the derivative of this function is equal to 0. We do have a horizontal tangent line right there. And there you have it. That's how you find the critical value of a function that has an exponential piece to it. And that's it for this video. I hope it helped. Be sure to check out our YouTube channel for more videos. Links to our social media are in the description below.